Alexander's arms start to tremble under the effort of wielding the huge sword. His muscles are nearing exhaustion. Ha! And so it ends! Not if I can help it, you murderer! Kasima thrusts the small dagger into Alhazred's shoulder with all her might. You! You dare raise a finger to me? You will regret that, princess! But I forget. I stalk a kitten and turn my back to a lion. It wouldn't do to let you gather your strength again, my prince. Alhazred finishes off Alexander with one swipe of his sword. Forgive me, Kasima. Alexander! No! <coughs> Oops. Shamir Shamazel! Get in here! Here I am, Master! It's about time, you bumbling fool! How could you let him follow me? Well, there were the guard dogs, Master, and then... <coughs> Never mind! Just kill him! Kill him now! <sighs> As you wish, Master. Razzle, dazzle, snap and snazzle! Alexander, I did it! I swapped the lamps! Here, quick, take it! Bless you, Jalo. I knew you could do it! Now get clear, friend. No argument there, my lord. Good luck! Shamir Shamazel, hold your spells. I am your master now. I order you to go back into your lamp. How did you get my lamp? You thief! You... you... you've ruined me! My lamp! Oh, thank Balhalla! I hated working for that loathsome creature. I already feel his nastiness leaving me. How I've longed for a master like you! I've got a new master! I've got a new master! So, you are a thief as well, Alexander. Stealing the lamp was very clever, I'll grant you that. But I am the master thief. Face my sword if you dare. I am the, the man master. left standing shall have the lamp. So shall it be, Alhazred. I don't need the genie to deal with a coward like you. Alexander fixes upon the only weapon in sight. <laughs> Zounds! This sword must weigh a ton. <laughs> Good. Then you shall only fail sooner, my prince. So, the mouse would bite? This mouse shall bite, as you shall soon see. Or should I say, 
soon feel. Ha! You can barely lift that sword, my prince. Better to lay it down now. I promise to dispatch you with little pain. A tempting offer. But I think I'll wait and see you what this sword can do. Suit yourself. Alexander's arms start to tremble under the effort of wielding the huge sword. His muscles are nearing exhaustion. Ha! And so it ends! Not if I can help it, you murderer! Cosima thrusts the small dagger into Alhazred's shoulder with all her might. Raise a finger to me. You will regret that, princess. Alexander sees no use for that. <laughs> Kasima, are you all right? I'm fine, Alexander. I was just so afraid for you. There's no need to fear anymore, Princess. Yes, I know. How can I ever repay you for myself, for my kingdom? It was not in me to let harm come to you. Can you find it in you, Princess, to give me more than your gratitude? Alexander, what are you saying? I love you, Cosima. Would you ever consider... Do you think you could... marry me? Could you ever have doubted it, my prince? Cosima, are you well? I'm quite well, thank you. Please take Abdul and put him in the dungeon. See to it that he gets a doctor. Yes, Majesty. Oh, I thought I killed him. Seema and Alexander ask Captain Saladin to perform their wedding ceremony. Saladin is honored to do so. On this historical day of great joy in the land of the Green Isles, we witness the union of Cosima, beloved princess of this realm, and Alexander, prince of Daventry. Do you, Prince Alexander of Daventry, take Princess Cosima to be your wife, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live? I do. And do you, Princess Cosima of the Land of the Green Isles, take Prince Alexander to be your husband, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you have a ring? I have Alexander's royal insignia ring. Yes, yeah, she does. Very good. Please place the ring on Cosima's finger.
Who gives this bride to be wed? Her mother and I willingly give our daughter's hand in wedlock. Who will speak for the groom? I will. Alexander's mother and I recognize his marriage to Princess Cosimo with glad hearts and sanction this union. Then, Alexander and Cosima, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Congratulations, my children. I have an important question for you both. Please hear me. Yes, sire? Alexander, I welcome you into our family with open arms. I place trust in Alhazred because I so badly wanted a son and a husband for my beloved daughter. I was wrong. But you are true and good, Alexander. You have proven yourself to all my people. Thank you, sire. Olaria and I have been through much, even though we have returned to our kingdom. I do not think we are able to reign again. Will you two consider the crown? I know as king and queen, you can heal this small kingdom from all the damage that Alhazred has inflicted upon it. Oh, father! Why, I'm honored. What do you think, Cosima? I love my homeland, Alexander. I would be happy to stay and serve it all my days. Father, I believe I'm needed here. Would you be very disappointed if... Son, you must follow your destiny. I do believe the land of the Green Isles needs you. You'll be a magnificent king, though dearly missed in Daventry. Then... I accept. Oh, my boy, what a man you've become. And how I will miss you. Don't worry, Mother. With Shamir's powers, we'll be able to visit often. I'm not about to forget my family. Mm, congratulations, Alexander. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, dear sister. Alexander, I'm so glad. Between the return of my beloved parents and our new reign, you've made me so happy. I'm glad I could make up for some of your suffering, my beautiful wife. Congratulations, King Alexander. When we return home to Daventry, your crew will be glad to hear that their battle at sea was worthwhile in bringing forth a new monarch. We were so worried when your men arrived home without you, son. I'm so thankful that you are safe and happy. And I am as grateful that my crew did not pay for my driven heart. You have only brought us all good fortune, sire. With Shamir saved and his power used for good, reuniting the islands will be far easier. He has already repaired the ferry. Your road will be easier now that the islands are no longer feuding. Already the wounds are starting to heal. Yes, my love. Discovering the island's stolen treasures has done more to bring peace to this land than anything else. It is now clear that Alhazred had Shamir steal each of the island's most valued treasures, then blame the thefts on others to cause the islands to hate each other. Now let us celebrate our good fortune. The evil that has plagued this land is done, and a new reign begins. Long live King Alexander and Queen Cosima. Long live King Alexander! Long live Queen Cosima! Long live the land of the Green Isles! Hooray! 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 
seems so far away And I just need to hear your voice <laughs> It's hilarious I just need to hear you say Thanks for watching. Enjoy the ending. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> I'll restore to... Right before I beat it. I forget where it says. Oh, here. 214, so no, it's not a complete. 
but it was it was still a really good ending. I guess there's a different ending if you hit 231 out of 231. <coughs> so, um, I don't know, because I thought that was a pretty badass ending. So who knows what the real ending is, I don't know. Alright, well, <coughs> maybe I'll go back and try to get that one of these days. Taking off your adventurer's <coughs> camp so soon? 